What's up guys, shalom, peace and blessings, peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger, we're back with our video. It is raining right now, so I can't make this too long, but anyways, good, let's go. These are the habits. I'm not sure if it's gonna be seven or five, I'm just flowing right now. So uh, these are the habits of someone who has the Holy Spirit. Number one, this is like the, like the main thing, you know, is they're willing to walk with God no matter what it comes with. If it comes with you having to lose everything, um, if, if God is telling you to forsake this, forsake him, forsake her, uh, he can be your own family too. Cause we know what the Bible says that, um, if you forsake certain things for the kingdom of God's sake, that you will be rewarded double in the afterlife. So whatever God's telling you to, you know, do you're willing to walk with him, no matter what it comes with, it could even cost you your life. You know, there's many people in the Bible, even the Bible says that, uh, some of you will be killed for my name's sake. So whatever they whatever you just have faith, you know, and you know, you understand that if it does come with uh, death, that God allowed it to happen. Yeah, there's many people in the Bible who were stoned for righteous, the righteous thing, not just Jesus, but other people in the Bible. Okay, number two, okay, another habit with someone who has the Holy Spirit, airplane, hold up. Another habit of someone who has the Holy Spirit is they are they're set apart. Okay, they're set apart. They no longer care about the things of this world. They're not trying to fit in with society, which you see a lot of people doing. You know, even your, your so-called Christian. Okay, just trying to fit in with everybody. Okay, when someone has the Holy Spirit, nah, bro. We 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 moving different. Okay, you know, a lot of people say they different. They different, right? But they said that in a worldly aspect. The true people who are truly different are those who are set apart. Okay, that's what the Holy Spirit does in your life. It sets you apart from the world. Okay, that's what that's exactly what it does. That's why you notice that certain people don't want to hang out with you no more. They don't want to be your friend. Okay, all of a sudden you're just so weird or, or just so religious, you know, all this type of stuff, right? That's what comes with it. That's what comes with it. So, and see, another habit with someone who has a Holy Spirit, someone who's fired up, someone who's fired up, they don't care about the opinions of a sheep or a goat. As long as we're pleasing God, as long as we're living according to the scriptures, we don't care about the opinions of others. We don't care. Okay, the Bible says to speak the truth and don't be don't be afraid. You know, don't be afraid to speak the truth. Okay, so that's another habit of someone with the Holy Spirit. So, sorry, guys, it's like raining on me right now. I don't know what that was. I'm, I'm gonna rewatch this, but that's the habit, guys. We don't care. We don't care what it comes with. We don't care if it comes with uh, being portrayed, being hated on. Okay, if they hated Jesus, a man without sin, who are you? Who are you? I always tell myself that too. Like, if they hated him, like, of course, what are they going to do to me? They're going to do, do me worse because I'm not without sin. Okay, I'm far from perfect. You know, I still strive for perfection, but I'm far from it. Okay, so that's, that's the three things. Okay, number four. The number four thing of someone with the Holy Spirit, they're filled with the Word. They know the Word of God. Okay, they know how to move out here because the Word of our, the word of God is a shield. It's a buckler to all who up who walk upright. Okay, so that's our protection. You got people going to, to crystals, uh, sage, uh, their sun gazing. <laughs> They're doing, <laughs> the dude, all the sun gazing. Okay, the carnals, I call them the carnal spiritual people. They're carnal, but they think they're spiritual. Okay, they got some, some type of little knowledge, right? But it's nothing. Okay, so the person with the Holy Spirit, they're protected by the Word of God. They're protected by the Holy Spirit, and we rely on that alone. We don't rely on crystals, sage, uh, tarot cards, um, all the yoga, all this new age stuff. We don't rely on that because all that is physical. And see, some of those things, they open doors for demons. Okay, a lot of people, don't they don't do their research, though. So. Okay, they don't study to show themselves approved. A lot of people just read the New Testament. They don't read the old one because, oh, it's just old. Or they say things like, oh, the, the Bible was written by the white man. This and that, all blasphemy. Okay, these are all those people who say that type of stuff, guys. Those are your fools. Okay, a lot of people are simple-minded. They're simple-minded sheep, so they just eat it up. Anything that any, anything you tell them, they just automatically believe it. Okay, even though you don't have to provide the scripture, they don't care. Okay, and so that those are the four things, right? Four habits of someone with the Holy Spirit. The next habit, one well, free song. Let's get, let's go. The next habit of someone with the Holy Spirit. Okay, they're willing. They're willing to stand up for righteousness. They're willing to be bold, bold as a lion. Okay, not just only speak the truth, but you know, we're not afraid of, you know, if we have to, if we have to street preach, if we have to make a video, we don't care about the opinions of others. I have a friend who's been telling me, you know, Mark, I want to make YouTube videos. I'm, I'm trying to make it. And I could tell, I could tell like the fear is like eating him alive because he's afraid of people judging him on a, on a phone screen. But it's just like, bro, like, I mean, telling them, like, who cares what people think? You're always going to have haters, especially when you actually make it. 
there's always gonna be people like hating on you like that's what comes with it and you should cherish that you should embrace that as a child of god especially if you're a warrior for god you should embrace the hate you should embrace all the, the stones that they throw at you, you should embrace it because we know they did that to the prophets which were before us so you should embrace it continue staying on the narrow path another habit of someone you know speaking of the narrow path another habit of someone who has the holy spirit someone who's willing to stay on the narrow path even though it comes with you know being lonely and yes on the narrow path you know the reason why you know it even says that only few find it and people are on the other path the broad wide gate which leads to destruction. Okay, many people are on that. So those people who are on that side, that side of history, okay, they have all, everyone likes them. They're fitting with society. Okay, everyone wants to be their friend. The world loves them. The world loves its own. But those who people who are on the narrow path, yeah, you're gonna have some time when you're lonely. But just understand that, yes, you might be lonely in the flesh, but God, you know, one thing, one times, guys, when I was lonely, where I felt like no one wanted to be my friend, I was standing up for something. You know, especially as a man, especially you brothers, you got to stand for something because if a man that doesn't stand for something will fall for anything. Okay, so I was standing for righteousness sake. I was standing for the, the truth, the truth. I was standing for the truth, right? And, uh, you know, I noticed that, like, everyone just disappeared. And even though I was alone in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm, I felt like God, you know, I felt the presence. Like, I felt like God had angels around me, which kept me company. You know, which, you know, which kept me, my spirits up, you know, like, yes, angels, God does give you angels, right, to protect you. Those who fear God have angels around them who, who, who um, those who fear him, right, you know, to protect you from these demons, these devils, okay. When the devil can't get to you, he's going to use someone around you. So the angels got to protect you, okay, the angel, and the angels will warn you, you know, yes, the angels warn people just like in, um, in Sodom and Gomorrah, I believe it was Sodom and Gomorrah, and the days of Lot. Okay? The angels, they came to Lot, they came to his wife, they came to his children saying, hey, the Most High is about to uh, blow, blow this place up. We got to go. Pack your bag. Oh, not even pack your bag. Let's go. Yeah, yeah they don't even say, let's go, bro. All this is about to be burned up with fire and brimstone. Just like when Jesus comes back, this all, all this is going to be burned. Okay, Fire and brimstone, the wicked, the, the, the ungodly, and the sinners are all going to be burned up. Okay, The willful sinners, the disobedient, they're all going to be burned. Okay, So... So the angels now they and they warn you, right? They all, but they also God has sends angels your way to minister to you, okay, to keep your spirits up because it's tough out here. It ain't easy. That's why the Bible says that only if you find a narrow path because it's not easy out here. It's tough. It's tough being a true child of God. It's tough being a true follower of Christ. It's tough. Okay, a lot of people can put up an act. They can you know put on a mask, a religious mask, but to truly walk this walk is tough, man. Not many people are willing to deny themselves daily and pick up their cross and follow him not many people are willing to do that so that's going to come with you know sometimes you might feel alone and, and that comes with you being misunderstood because it's in, it's in the human's nature to hate on the hate on the man who's misunderstood well you know because he's speaking the truth that's going against their false programming that they inherited in the matrix because everything they taught us was a lie everything they taught us in the matrix guys most things are lies or things that don't do anything for us spiritually okay that's why when i have my babies right when i have my children I'm a whole homeschool them. Oh, that's dope. That's a rainbow right there. Oh, that's dope, man. See, and that rainbow too, it's lies. The rainbow, they taught us that the rainbow is the LG. Doo, 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 doo. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> they taught us that, bro. But actually, the rainbow is the promise of God that he won't flood the earth. Okay? These, these are all lies that taught us in the Matrix. You know, the earth is round. Okay, and see, and I don't want to start, start up a debate. I know some people, the spirit of air is going to trigger some people. But when I actually, you know, dig down deep in the rabbit hole and started seeking the truth for myself, I came to realization that almost everything they taught us was a lie. That's why it's important to relearn, okay? Everything they taught us was a lie. Relearn, or sorry, unlearn and relearn. And it, and it came with me, me having to humble ourselves. And that's another habit of someone with the Holy Spirit. They're humble, they're meek, okay? Even the Bible says that the meek, he, he will guide. God will guide them. So God will be with them, with the people who are humble, the people who are arrogant, the people who are, um, you know, prideful. The Bible says God hates those people. Okay, God hates, you know, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, arrogancy, and pride, and the evil way, and the foul mouth do I hate. You got, and this is another habit of the home of the Holy Spirit. You hate what God hates. You hate what God hates. I know the Christian church has programmed you to believe that. Love, love, love. God loves everybody, this and that, okay? But if you actually read the Bible, you actually see that, wow, you know, God has different emotions too. When people live a certain lifestyle that goes against what he, he wants us to live, there's a judgment for that. There's a punishment for that. 
Okay, now, of course, God is love war. He's going to give us mercy and grace. He's not going to just condemn us right there. He's going to give us chances and chances and chances, time and time and time to repent. But eventually, that door closes. You know, the Bible even talks about the, the foolish virgins and the wise uh, virgins, okay? The wise ones, they had oils in their lamps. They were prepared. They were obedient. They were li living a life of repentance. So they, they weren't perfect. They weren't living without sin, but they were living a life of repentance, okay? They truly love God. They truly love Christ. They were preparing for the bridegroom. Okay, the foolish ones, okay, when the Bible talks about this, when Jesus comes back, he's going to shut the door on them. Okay, they weren't prepared. Okay, they were just saying love, love, love. They weren't doing any works, but the Bible says this is the love of God that we keep God, his commandments. How many people can say that? How many people can say they're, they're a child of God? How many people can say they're being led by the spirit of God? How many people? Okay, I looked it up too. So there's over 2 billion people who are followers of Christianity. Okay, I guarantee you guys only like 1% of those people are on the narrow path. 99% of those people are just deceived because Satan has deceived the entire earth. Okay, that's why it's important to have the spirit of truth, be led by the Holy Spirit. Okay, and this is important. This type of talks, man, that's why it's important for y'all to share these videos, man, and like it. Get this out on the algorithm because people, that's what people need in these last days, the Holy Spirit. That's what people need. Okay, the Holy Spirit is going to come with correction. It's going to come with conviction. It's going to come with change. And people ain't trying to do that. <laughs> these people ain't trying to do that so they never they never grow they never grow spiritually you know they just stay the same for the rest of their life and they just blame other people be jealous of the next man because next man is actually putting in the work while they're just scoffing sitting on the sideline hating being jealous and envious just like their father the devil okay you got children of god then you got the children of the devil the agents the tares okay you have those people and you know when you're on the narrow path those those people you know saying children they're gonna attack they're gonna persecute you they're going to slander. That comes with it. But even in the midst of that, we stay strong. We stay, we stay bold. We stay firm because the Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit gives us comfort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave a comment below if I ever missed out anything on, on the habits. This is a freestyle all, all the top of the head. I love you guys so much. You guys wish to support me. My links are down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.